Unit 4. I really like hip-hop. Page 22. Exercise 1. Snapshot. Listen and number the musical styles from 1 to 9. 1. Seven. So in this exercise, we put numbers from 1 to 9 for these musical styles. Number 1, jazz. 1% 1 jazz. 2, pop music, pop music. 3, gospel. Gospel is a Christian religious music, 7%. Gospel, Christian religious music. 4. Classical music, 4 classical music, 2%. Classical, 5. Hip-hop music, 5. Hip-hop music. What's hip hop? Hip hop is African American origin with rhyming words and a strong beat. 6. Country. Country music. 7. Rock. 7. Rock music. 32%. This is the highest. The highest in the music sales in the United States. 8. R&B. What's R&B? R&B, rhythm and blues. Rhythm and blues. 9. New Wedge. A type of music which is intended to produce calm and peaceful state of mind. New Wedge. A type of music which is intended to produce calm and peaceful state of mind. Which of these kinds of music are popular in your country? Which of these kinds of music are popular, are famous in Egypt? Think rock music, rap, and bop. Pop music are very famous. Pop. Rap and rock music are very famous in Egypt. What other kinds of music are popular in your country, in Egypt? 
What other kinds of music are popular? We have oriental music like Umm Kulthum music, Al Haggar music. We have folk art, folk art like Fatma Eid. Local music like Shaban Abdul Rahim. We have different kinds of music. Exercise number two, word power. Complete the word map with words from the list. So in this exercise, you will have here a word map. Entertainment, television programs, music, movies. Would like to take these words and write them in these categories, in these parts. Classical, game shows, horror films, horror films, scary movie, films which make you afraid, jazz, kind of music, news, to know the news or the news of the world, pop music, salsa, science fiction, movies which is based on science, films which is based on scientific ideas, sub operas, a program about people's problems, talk shows, programs for talking about famous people like actors, singers, footballers, thrillers, wonderful story, exciting and interesting stories, westerns, like questions and country. Now one moment, try to answer. Take your time. Now, let's start to answer. Television programs, we have game shows, news, soap operas, talk shows, cartoons, documentaries, sports events, reality shows. So you can add more two or three words. Movies, horror, horror movies, horror films, science fiction, thrillers, westerns, adventures, comedies, musicals, drama, Music, classical, jazz, pop, salsa, reggae, opera, heavy metal, hip hop, hip hop music. Look at the pictures. What do you see? A young lady. She's singing. She's playing the guitar. She's a singer. A young man. He is a famous singer. He's a famous singer. Exercise 3 Conversation. Page 23, Exercise 3 Conversation. Who's your favorite singer? Part A Listen and Practice. Do you like country music, Brian? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Taylor Swift. I think I know her. Does she play the guitar? Yes, she does. She's a really good musician. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like hip-hop. Oh, yeah? Who's your favorite singer? Jay-Z. Do you like him? No, I don't. I don't like hip-hop very much. Conversation. Who's your favorite singer? Who is the best singer? Do you like country music, Brian? Country music? No, I don't like it very much. I don't like it. Make the T silent. Don't. Don't. Like it. Make link between K sound and I. Like it. No, I don't like it very much. 
Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Taylor Swift. I'm a big fan. I love very much Taylor Swift. I think I know her. Does she play the guitar? This is the guitar. Does she play the guitar? Yes, she does. She's a really good musician. Musician? Someone who plays music. So what kind of music do you like? I really like hip hop. Hip hop is a kind of music. Oh yeah. Who's your favorite singer? Who's the best singer? Jay-Z. Do you like him? This is Jay-Z. No, I don't. I don't like hip hop very much. Now let's ask some questions about Brian and Marissa. Question 1. Does Brian like country music? No, he doesn't. He doesn't like it very much. Does, does Marissa like country music? Yes, she does. She's a big fan of Taylor Swift. Does Taylor play the guitar? Yes, she does. Is Taylor Swift a good musician? Yes, she is a really good musician. What kind of music does Brian like? He likes hip hop. Who is his favorite singer? Jay Z. Does Marissa like him? No, she doesn't. She doesn't like hip hop very much. Page 23, Exercise 3, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Who is Brian's favorite group? Does Marissa like them? What about groups, Brian? Who do you like? Oh, I like a lot of different groups. I guess my favorite group is Green Day. Green Day? Really? Why? Don't you like them? No, I don't. I guess they have some good songs, but they're very noisy. Who's Brian's favorite group? His favorite group is Green Day. Does Marissa like Green Day? No, she doesn't. Because she thinks their music is very noisy. No, because she thinks their music is very noisy. Page 23, Exercise 4, Grammar Focus. Simple present questions, short answers. Do you like country music? Yes, I do. I love it. No, I don't. I don't like it very much. What kind of music do you like? I really like hip-hop. Does she play the piano? Yes, she does. She plays very well. No, she doesn't. She doesn't play an instrument. What does she play? She plays the guitar. Do they like Green Day? Yes, they do. They like them a lot. No, they don't. They don't like them at all. Who do they like? They like Coldplay. Object pronouns. Me. You. Him. Her. It. Us. Them. Okay. Today, the grammar is the question for the simple present. The question in the simple present, we start with an auxiliary. For the subjects I, you, they, and we, the question auxiliary is do. So, do, then the subject, then the verb. Now, a question like this is a yes, no question. Yes and no. So, when we say yes, 
to the question, we say yes, and then the subject, and then do, the auxiliary. When we say no, we say no, the subject, and don't, the negative auxiliary. Very good. Now, for the third person, remember, he, she, and it is for the third person. Our auxiliary for the question is does. It's the third person conjugation. So we use does, the subject, and the verb. And remember, we use the normal verb, no s. The third person conjugation is on the question, the question auxiliary. For example, does. Now, when we say yes to the question, we say yes, the subject, and does. Again, the auxiliary. And no, we say no, the subject, and doesn't, the negative auxiliary. Okay, remember, for the question, we use the auxiliary do or does to start the question. Then the subject, then the verb. Very good. Okay, the next part of the grammar are WH questions. WH questions are the same as normal questions but with a WH question word. So we use WH question word and the auxiliary and the subject and the verb. So for example, where do they live? The question word, the auxiliary, do, my subject, they, and the verb, live. Where do they live? They live in Springfield. Very good. And remember the third person conjugation. It's the same, but remember to use the third person question auxiliary, does. So for example, what time does he wake up? The question word, what time, the auxiliary, does, my subject, he, and my normal verb, wake up. Remember, this is the third person conjugation on the question auxiliary. So what time does he wake up? He wakes up at 5.30. Hey guys, and welcome back to My English Brain. Today, we are talking about the object pronouns. Alright, let's get started. Okay, and now it's time for the grammar. And today's grammar is the structure of a sentence. We always use the subject first, then the verb, then the object. So the subjects, I, he, she, it, you, they, and we all have corresponding objects. And they are I for the subject, the object is me. He, 
him, she, her, it, it, you, you, they, them, we, us. Again, me, him, her, it, you, them, and us are the objects and they always come after the verb. Now, let's remember that with the object it and the subject it, we are talking about one thing or maybe one situation. And with the object them or the subject they, we are talking about people or things, multiple things. And remember, the object is always after the verb. So, for example, the verb called. Let's look at the subject and the object. The subject is he, and the object is her. So our sentence is he called her. The subject, the verb, and the object. He called her. Or the subject, she, and the object, him. So our sentence, she called him. The subject, the verb, and the object. She called him. Or this one. The subject, she, and the object, them, multiple people. So the sentence, she called them. Or maybe this one. Now the subject is they. So the sentence is they called them. All right, very good. Now, another thing to think about is in English, after the preposition, we also use the object. And that's very different than some languages like French and Spanish and Italian and even Portuguese. But in English, we use the object after the preposition. For example, he is talking to her, the object. The preposition is to. He is talking to her. And we use the object after the preposition. Or for this one. She is sitting next to him, the object. Because here we have the preposition, next to. She is sitting next to him. We use the object. Complete these conversations, then practice with the partner. So in this exercise, you're going to complete. You fill the blanks. Then you practice with your friend. 1A. I like King of the Blaine a lot. You know. Do you know them? Yes, I. Yes, I do. And I love this song. Let's download it. Number two. Do you like science fiction movies? Yes, I do. I like them very much. Two. Do. Do. Them. Three. Kevin and Emma, that means they are two, they. Do Kevin and Emma like soap operas? Soap operas is a program in America, a very famous program, a very famous talk show. Do Kevin and Emma like soap operas? Kevin does, but Emma doesn't. She hates them. Number three answers. Do, 
does, doesn't, them. Question number four. What kind of music does Niruku like? Classical music. She loves you, your ma. He's amazing. I like him a lot. Number four answers. Does him. Exercise number five. Intonation in questions. In this exercise, yes, no questions usually have rising intonation, means the sound is up. But WH questions usually have falling intonation, means sound is down. Page 24. Exercise 5. Pronunciation. Intonation in questions. Part A. Listen and practice. Yes-no questions usually have rising intonation. WH questions usually have falling intonation. Do you like pop music? What kind of music do you like? Do you like pop music? What kind of music do you like? Do you like pop music? What kind of music do you like? 5. Pronunciation Phonetics Intonation means the sound is up or down. Intonation in questions. Yes, no questions usually have rising intonation. The question, if the question starts, question, do, does, sound up. Do you like pop music? Do you like pop music? Do you like pop music? So sound here is up. WH questions usual, usually have falling intonation. The WH questions usually have falling sound. The sound is down. Sound is down. Question start starts with what, where, when, why, who, how. WH questions. The sound at the end down. What kind of music do you like? What kind of music do you like? B. Pair work. Practice these questions. Do you like pop music? The so sound is up. Here, come on. Do you like TV? Do you like music videos? Do you play a musical instrument? Do you play a musical instrument? Second group. What kind of music do you like? What programs do you like? What videos do you like? What musical instrument do you play? What musical instrument do you play? Exercise number six. Speaking. Entertainment survey. This is a questionnaire for entertainment. Group work. Write five questions about entertainment and entertainers. Then ask and answer your questions in groups. What kinds of, what kinds of music do you like? What kinds of television programs do you like? What kinds of video games do you like? Do you like Rijay? Do you like game shows? Do you like action movies? Who's your favorite? Who's your favorite singer? Who's your favorite actor? Who's your favorite athlete? So you answer these questions, then you have a group work, you complete this information about your group. You ask any additional questions, you can ask more questions. Our group favorites.
What's your favorite kind of music? What's your favorite kind of movie? What's your favorite kind of television program? And you write the answers here. What's your favorite song? What's your favorite movie? And what's your favorite video game? Who's your favorite singer? Who's your favorite actor? Who's your favorite athlete? You'll have here some pictures for Utada Hikaru, reality shows. This is a reality show, reality, T Safdi in American. Cristiano, a very famous athlete, is very famous as a footballer. 3D movie, three dimensional movies. Avatar, the movie of Avatar. C. Class activity. Read your group's list to the class. Find out the class favorite. Discover the class favorite. The favorites, the favorite singer, the favorite actor, the favorite movie, the favorite television program, the favorite music, and tell the class. Unit 4. 1. Exercise 1. Vocab book. 1. Rap. Music of African American origin. R and B, rhythm and blues. Country, country and western. Gospel, gospel British, American gospel, O A gospel. A kind of Christian religious music. Christian religious music Jazz A kind of dance music 2. Game shows News Talk show Cartoons Documentaries British American Documentaries Documentaries Sports events Reality shows, reality shows, T, soft D. Movies, horror films, horror films. Science fiction, thrillers. Sah down, take care, sah, sah, thre, thrillers. Westerns, westerns. Adventures, comedies, British comedies, oh, oh, American comedies, musicals, musicals, drama, music, classical, hip hop, heavy metal, heavy metal, T soft D, Rije. Rije Opera Salsa South American music with a strong beat Sub Opera Sub Opera Continuing television drama about people's problems Entertainment Amusement I'm a big fan of Beatles, Beatles, T, soft D, Beatles, stylish, have a style, amazing, amazing, wonderful, fantastic. 7, exercise 7, invite somebody on date, have a romantic meeting, have a romantic meeting, meeting, T soft D between two vowels. Meeting British meeting. Welcome. 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 Share videos. It's a community. We're all doing this together.